Hey there folks, got an OU battle for you today. Uh, last time I uploaded an OU battle with this team, I got some feedback, some really constructive feedback, saying why are you using this and not this? Specifically, uh, I was getting the sense that my Aegis Slash set was for crap, and people were wondering why I was using Mega Gardevoir when um, Sylveon would work equally well, in fact better. So I thought about it and thought, well, really there's, there's no good reason. So I went ahead and rebred my um, Aegis Slash, which was a lot less hard than I thought it would be, and I made myself a Sylveon, um, by which I mean I bred an Eevee, brought it, uh, gave it the moves that it needed, brought it to Gen 6, and evolved it. So yeah, uh, I lead off here with my Landorus, as he leads off with his Victini. I wasn't sure whether it was Scarf or, or Scarf could probably have taken out my Landorus, so I had to go switch out first turn, and the fact that he switched out first indicates to me, doesn't that mean that he's Scarf? Question mark, question mark. Uh, I'm not exactly sure that's how it works, but anyway, uh, it seems so far like it was a good move. I, unfortunately my switch in was not as good as his switch in, so I'm gonna have to switch it right back out. I go out into Aegis Slash as he goes for the Stealth Rod. So, hey, not running Defog. You notice I didn't lead off with my Galvangelo, it's because I thought he might be running Defog on his Armory. No Defog means I really should have let off with Galvangelo. How do I know he didn't run Defog? Because he has freaking, yeah, I mean, if he was going to run Defog, he wouldn't have the Stealth Rock as well. I mean, some people do that, but it seems really weird. I mean, it's counterproductive, kind of but whatever. Um, I think I'd actually, at this point, rather stay in with my uh, hip on top and just go for the Rapid Spin. I mean, yeah, he can just set up rocks again, but well, I'm thinking that he's just going to keep on whirlwinding, in which case I might go out and someone can take this guy out. And indeed, here comes another Whirlwind, and the um, plan is going so well. I'm actually hoping Galvantula comes out, but I don't I don't quite get that lucky. So here's Bo, his Bo, my shiny Sylveon. Um, legitimately bred, this is not made in Pokesave. I don't do that if it does if I absolutely don't have to, and so far I've never I've only once had to, and that was for that Chansey that you saw on my Ubers team. Here I go for Wish as he goes up goes for another uh, Stealth Rock. Um, you know, Wish works just as well, I, it, it's just a good idea. I was thinking that he'd keep going for Whirlwind and it would mean that someone would get recovery somewhere at some time. Uh, here is the weirdest switch of the game. Why would you send in a Pokemon that's weak to Fairy in on a Fairy? Not sure at all, but I end up going out into Cosmica. The Intimidate uh, attack cut is nice, but Honestly, I would have stayed in and gone for the Hyper Voice. Especially since it turns out that Hyper Voice would have done a decent amount to Skarmory. I'll put up the exact number in the annotation. But go for a Rapid Spin here, at least I get rid of the stones, and that way if Galvantula comes in, its Focus Sash is secure, and if um, Dragonite comes in, then its uh, Multiscale is secure. So Cosmic Gev is going to switch out right here. Going to go out back out into Bow. Uh, Bo should be able to deal with this guy no problem. I don't. Uh, he goes for the knockoff, and so I'm thinking, well, look, someone's gonna have to get something knocked off. I'd, I'd rather it be uh, Bo's leftovers, and all things considered. Uh, maybe there are other things that could have been knocked out that would have been better, but I don't know. Anyway, Bo here goes for the Hyper Voice against Victini that's resisted. I don't know what the rationale was for fire resisting fairly, but it's annoying as heck. So here he goes for the U-turn, and Bo just stays in to protect itself. I switch out on the off chance that this is like the Life Orb set, and I go out into, well, the why did I go here? I don't know. I was thinking that this would be a good switch in, and it eh, wasn't a bad switch in, uh, but really it should just like stay and go for more hyper voices, gone out into Hitmon top, I don't know. Uh, this appears to be an okay matchup for me. Well, oh, another knockoff. Well, right, but I have a plan here plan is go for the switch out, evidently. Not sure why. Should have just gone for the King Shield, gotten his attack lower, but I guess he could have been the bulk upset and that would have been bad. Um, yeah, so Bo goes for a wish as I'm just expecting the switch out and it would be nice to have someone at full HP. Uh, his... Uh, I don't... So Gabi is... That the, so this guy is uh, Spanish, at least according to the information that popped up in the battle. Now by Spanish I mean like from Spain, not like Hispanic, which is how would I know his ethnicity. But Gaudi was a famous architect 
And is that the idea that because he's got the pillars that makes him an architect? I don't know. But whatever. Um, it's an interesting nickname, nonetheless. Uh, stealth rocks are back up. We're just, we're just wasting turns for both of us at this point. I go for the Hyper Voice. I'm just curious how much it does. And it takes him out. And I kind of wish I'd gone for Hyper Voices sooner, especially considering this guy doesn't appear to have any real legitimate attacking groups. Um, so now out comes Victini. I'm thinking that this guy's banded, not uh, Specs. And so I'm going to see what he's going to lock himself into, and then based on that, I'm going to make my decision to who to switch in. Goes for the V Create. I actually calc that Bo could have survived with just a smidgen of HP, but I didn't want to risk it. So I got into Cosmic F, thinking that Cosmic F should be able to take the hit all right as well. And especially considering it's going to get the Intimidate off. Unfortunately, I didn't actually bother running the calc. And here comes the V Create. And based on this damage, Cosmic Death did. That's bad. That's really bad. Because now I've got no spinner and I've got two Pokemon on this team who would, who would like a spinner. So now I'm out into Billy D. Williams because now I know that he's not Scarfed. And even if he were Scarfed, he's at minus one. So I don't know why he stayed in. I guess technically everyone on his team is grounded and wouldn't like an Earth Power, but still. Not sure why I stayed in. Uh, spade is down. Uh, probably a reference to the flame spade. Uh, anyway, now out is Alakazam, and I figure, look, the worst you can do is Psy Shock, and that's not going to kill. But he has the hidden power ice. I should have, I should have realized that based on how he was using it. But I mean, how was I supposed to know he had hidden power ice? I go out now into Motoko. Um, yeah, so the it's a, the reference is one of my weird like. To, um, what's the, what's the term I'm looking for? It's a reference to a reference. Uh, it's not like a direct reference to anything. It's uh, so Kusanagi is uh, the name of a mythical Japanese sword, I'm told. Uh, basically, the Japanese equivalent of Excalibur. And Motoko Kusanagi is the protagonist of Ghost Michelle. So it's kind of like a reference within a reference and just designed it to an idol. Um, so unfortunately, so I went for the stance change here to get back into shield form, uh, and really that wasn't the best thing. Here is where the sticky web could have really helped me because Garchomp. Oh, actually, so two two cases, three if you count. Um, yeah, so he's got a lot of Pokemon that I would have preferred to be slower, uh, but Garchomp especially. Uh, so now I'm going to go out into Hugabug, thinking that he's. Uh, I think I was thinking I could take the earthquake. Um, but Garchomp is kind of amazing, and Mega Garchomp has like 171 base attack. Yeah, no, ain't no way I'm surviving an EQ. That, I mean, it's neutral. It's not like I resist it. It's neutral. And Huggabug is dead, and I've got no sticky web. So that's like, well, that sucks. But, Bo, Bo here is physically defensive at basically full health. Basically, I said he's after Stealth Rock. So I think I can take one. I think I can take one. Uh, and I can hit back with a Hyper Voice. So out now comes Gaudi, and I just go over the Hyper Voice. Uh, I mean, the switch was fairly obvious, but he didn't have anyone who could really, really work for switching. So critical hit doesn't matter because I outspeed, and I could have just KO'd in two. Uh, but yeah, so now out is going to come Alakazam, and I'm not sure how well I can take hits from Alakazam. And he goes for the Psy Shock, and it's not psychic, and I'm like, ha ha ha! That's awesome! That's so awesome because I'm physically defensive. Yeah, people... Okay, so no one laughed at me. But the recommended set for Sylveon is specially defensive. So, man, am I glad I went physically defensive because Garchomp, I can take a hit from Garchomp, and I can take a hit from a side shot from Alakazam. So that's awesome! Uh, and I'm thinking here, you know, all three of his Pokemon are going to be taken out by Sylveon, so I just need to keep Sylveon at high health. That's the trick here, keep Sylveon at high health. Uh, so I'm going to get Sylveon back up to full, and then I'm going to kill this guy. He gets a freaking crit, but you know what? Didn't take me out. I figure I can just keep going for the Wish Protects, and the crit will have not mattered in the long run. Uh, so I protect here again. Uh, this is just wasted time, I guess you could say. Uh, but So and now I'm going to be back up to oh, three quarters. I wish that I didn't. I still have my leftovers. The leftovers would be really nice right now. Really, really nice. Uh, but so yeah, I'm gonna have to attack at some point. But I'm not doing it quite yet. Honestly, I, I'm debating with stalling it out until I'm out of wishes. That might be a little, excuse me, a little bit extreme. Probably not gonna do that. But eh. so I think 
I withdraw bow here because bow is at good HP, and I figure there's another move I can do here, which is send out Motoko. Uh, he's at low enough health that a, uh, that a sneak, shadow sneak should take him out. Uh, yeah, um, that's not going to do anything. It's resistant. Uh, so, yeah. I figure your shadow sneak should pale, and that should be fantabulous and wonderful and amazing. So, stance change, uh, going to go for the shadow sneak, and that's going to be a dead Alakazam. Uh, so the, the move set, by the way, this is the Smog on Mecha, rec Mecha weapon. recommended move set. This is King Shield, Shadow Sneak, Shadow Ball, and Sacred Sword. Uh, really great neutral coverage. Really great wall breaker. And interestingly enough, it's quiet nature. I will. I was. I was. I couldn't. I had no idea that the standard set would be quiet. And it's plus special attack. Plus so 252 special attack investment. 252 attack. Uh, no, sorry. HP investment for attack investment. It is you want this thing to be slow because you want to attack second. Uh, I don't think I can take an earthquake even in shield form. So I'm gonna do a really risky play and go out into puff my magic dragonite who lives by the sea. And uh, if he goes for the earthquake, that's awesome. He went for the earthquake. Huzzah! Huzzah! And now I go for the extreme speed. And it's banded, but it's not gonna take him out. I just needed, I was thinking I need some higher damage. Uh, I really should have, actually in retrospect, I should have sacked uh, Motoko. Uh, it was the least useful considering that uh, I got extreme speed. But, I got into bow here and I know that bow, or I, I hope and pray that bow can take one. And I hope it can take one earthquake. That's all I need is to take. And it's down, and I survive on 40, and bow is going to go ahead and use hyper voice, and that is a dead guard chomp. And now I have won this game. I am so freaking happy because, yeah, okay, fine. His uh, Weavile is going to take me out with an Ice Shard. Or, you know, any attack, really. As long as he doesn't go for the Sword Stance, and if he wants for the Sword Stance, then he dies to a Hyper Voice. So, both things here. I was actually kind of hoping that I might be able to take an Ice Shard, but... Um, and Life Warp Set is good, means no, uh, no Focus Sash. And so the plan here, I think I can actually take, I can take a Night Slash in Shield form. I can take a Night, sla night Slash in Shield form, but I want to do the, uh, I want to do this. So he's got knockoff, so that's slightly more power, but attack is now down to minus two. I have won this game. I have won this game, and I am so freaking happy. Here comes the knockoff. Ain't gonna do Jack. Critical hit. Critical hit. Critical hit. Why? Why, God, why? I'm gonna try- yeah, so I'm- My character's trying to jump off the cliff. That's the only option at this point. Jump off a freaking cliff! This is ridiculous, folks! This is ridiculous! Just one game without game-changing hacks, please! 